to big have changed over time. Our class looked at old photos and postcards of Shabig and we each chose a location to study. We visited the Shabig Historical Society and looked at the old photos and a diorama at their exhibit. In the field, we found the location where the old photo had been taken, taken from and used GPS, global positioning system, to document the exact location of in latitude and longitude. Now we can go back and document the future changes whenever we want from the exact same spot. A few places stayed the same and many changed a lot because of storms and tides. For some places around the island, it is a constant job to hold onto the roadways and bankings. Look carefully at the old and the new photos and see how things are the same and how they have changed. 1940 to 2011, the Trower property on Hamilton Beach has changed a lot. They have lost about 20 feet of land, along with a few trees, in front of their home. Circa 1905 to 2011. If you look closely, you can see that trees have grown, but some things have stayed the same. And in the distance, you can see that the banking has eroded. The 1909 to 2011 Island Boatyard. The Shabig Island Boatyard has changed a lot. In the older photo, the trees are shorter and there are farmhouses out in the point. In the newer picture, there is a dock and the trees are taller. Circa early 1900 to 2011, beach in front of Massachusetts Colony in the boatyard has not changed much over the last hundred years. There's a little bit of erosion on the banking. Bushes grew where there was just grass before. The pond near the banking occasionally lets loose and forms a big gully. Nineteen hundred to two thousand eleven, Hamilton Beach. In the old photo, there are fewer trees. In the new photo, Eastern Landing Wharf is gone. Eastern Landing was used in the early nineteen hundreds by Shabiggers. Nineteen hundred to two thousand eleven, Coleman's Cove. In September of 1943, a hurricane destroyed the pier on the left. Due to erosion, they had to bury cars to keep the banking from collapsing. In the newer picture, a house is missing and there are more trees. The Hook 1900 2011. The very old umbrella tree you see in the first photo fell down during Hurricane Gloria in 1985. The boathouse was built in 1910. It is a constant job to keep up with the erosion of the road. Circa 1960-2011, the Reagan House. This is a Reagan house in the top left corner. The trees in the first picture are gone and the banking has eroded. In 1989, an old well on Hamilton Beach was exposed and now is washed away with the banking.
which stands for Students and Teachers Observing and Recording Meteorological Systems. Thank you to all the people on the island who helped us research our changing landscape, including Donna Damon, Sam Ballard, Steve Johnson, Marty Trower, Martha Hamilton, Bob Ernest, Jennifer Hubble, Hart Lily and Diane Brewer, Sharon Bowman, and Jane Frizzell. Thank you to our teachers, Beth Johnson, Kristen Westra, Lee Robinson, and Nancy.